By now, I'm sure that you figured out this is not a normal episode of Attaché, but I want to try something. A lot of you, quite rightly, have said you guys take ages to put up content, when's the next episode, and those are great points, but here's the thing. To produce the guides that we do, Beirut, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Paris, San Francisco, places like that, we actually have to go to those places, which is time consuming in and of itself, but to produce the quality that we want to do for each of those episodes, it takes a lot of time, like literally weeks of production planning to make sure that we're accurate, to make sure that we get all the shots that we want, all the information is correct, line up all the interviews and stuff like that. And then when we're done, Greg has to put it all together, which is a lot of work because we're constantly shooting. So it does take time to produce each of these episodes, but I travel a lot as it is for non-attaché stuff. So I thought, let's try something. And so I, I'm going to document a trip I'm doing right now. I don't have Greg, so I'm having super massive separation anxiety right now, but we'll try it. We'll see if I like it. We'll see if you like it. And if it works, maybe we'll do it some more alongside the bigger, better, broader, ballsier, beautifuler attached to a travel guide. So stay with me. So here's the plan. I have to go to Oslo tomorrow morning, uh, but I have to go to Leeds today to do a thing, both of which you'll see. So in 90 minutes, I'm gonna jump on a plane to Leeds, do my thing, go right back to the airport, fly back here to Heathrow, stay the night here at Heathrow so I can get my very early flight tomorrow morning to Helsinki on my way to Oslo, where I will do my thing and fly back the next day. So, five flights, four cities, two days. What could possibly go wrong? Anyway, come along, it may actually be kind of fun, or it may be a total nightmare, but there's only one way to find out. Hot towel. The hands of her face, I say hands. So here's something you might not know. Right after takeoff, for about two or three minutes, you'll often hear a double ding, kind of like this. That actually means something. It usually means that the plane is past 10,000 feet or around 10,000 feet, and the captain or first officer. Sorry, or, break it up, thank you. From thank the back deck is the captain. My name is. So anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. The double ding is when you're at around 10,000 feet and the air is smooth and somebody on the flight deck, captain, first officer, second officer, somebody has decided that it's safe enough for the cabin crew to get out from their seats and to start their service. It's that their signal from the flight deck to the cabin crew that they can get started. So double ding means they can get up. It does not mean that you can get up. So captain came on and told us that apparently there's some schmutz in the engine that he just noticed. So they're having to fish it out. I cannot be late. So this is going to be interesting. And got it. Just that thing anyway. I'll find out. Turbulence. Are you afraid of turbulence? Don't be afraid of turbulence. I get that it's uncomfortable, but there's nothing to be afraid of. There, 
there's no pilot in the world that will fly you anywhere near turbulence or weather that will cause turbulence that can do even a modicum of damage to an airplane. So yeah, I get it's weird and the ups and downs are, are kind of unpleasant, but it's nothing to be afraid of. The turbulence that we're feeling right now is because we're flying through clouds and they're denser than clear air. So you get a little bit of a bump around. Uh, sometimes there's uh, there's wind, like uh, the current and water, there's like that, the jet stream can go through, or even across those, it can be choppy, but it's really nothing to be worried about. Speaking of turbulence, that is a microburst, and you do not want to go anywhere near one of those in an airplane. So I am behind the scenes at the Royal Armouries Museum in Leeds, which is a fantastic place if you're ever in this area. And I'm here because I'm going to give a speech. Yes, this is the other reason why I travel so much. Uh, apparently, uh, I'm on stage in a second, so just let me. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Alex Hunter. Showtime. I love doing that. Uh, but now, back to the airport. Same seat, same airplane. Here we go. Interestingly, all female flight deck crew. I think that's a first for me. Very cool. 